a six times all-star on today's video coming up. Hello again, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, my name is Troy Rudder, AKA TTM Troy, and I literally wrote the book on autograph collecting. It is called Autograph Collecting Secrets, Tools and Tactics for Through the Mail, In-Person and Convention Success. I don't know what that was. <laughs> it just happened. We're doing it live, folks. Um, thank you for joining me today, TTM Nation. I am so excited to share this six times all-star return for you today and maybe even a few more celebrated people. Maybe. You think? Would I be doing a video if I didn't have something to share? No. So this is, I don't know what what how many days I've been doing this. Uh, is this my fifth? fifth day of doing a video a day, something like that, fourth or fifth, and I'm having a blast doing it. You guys have been awesome. You know, if you don't know, I'm trying to do a video a day at least for two or three weeks, and it, it is tough. Let me tell you, it is tough to do that because uh, I put so much time into each video, and to find that time to do that every day, but I am loving it. I'm loving uh, the interactions. I'm getting some new people to the channel, so hello, Hello, new people, <laughs> and I'm seeing some old friends that just because of the activity of me posting each day, people are tuning in and say, I wonder what Troy is doing today. I wonder what he's doing today. So I really appreciate that. But hey, you are here to see the autographs, and let is, let's just get straight into it today, okay? Here you go. Boom. All right, first we have John Stearns. He signed one of one in 15 days via his home in Colorado. You can see the address right there. And like I try to tell people, I will put the address in every video uh, as long as the address is a public address or available by easy Googling. And this is one of them. This address is public. So you can see his home address right there. Now, Mr. Stearns has a nickname, Bad Dude. <laughs> now, he played from 1974 to 1984 for the Phillies and the Mets. Now, this isn't the person I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but uh, Mr. Stearns is a four-times All-Star in 1977, 1979, 1980, and 1982 for the Mets. Now, he did play for the Phillies, like I said, but he only played a single game for the Phillies. Now, after he retired from baseball, he was a scout for the Brewers and a bullpen coach for the Yankees in New York. And then he went to work with the Blue Jays in their minor league system. He also bounced around here and there to other organizations, but uh, I don't know if he's still active or not, to be honest with you. But uh, obviously he is signing. He has kind of a cool signature there. And so very nice to get a four times all-star from the Mets. Uh, definitely a Mets favorite player from the 1980s, 1970s, 1980s, Mr. John Stearns. Next, we have Gary Lavelle. He signed one of one in 46 days via his home in Virginia. Now, I'm not putting the address on here, not because it's uh, uh, not public, but I saw on Star Tiger that he actually, uh, people got an RTS and they don't have a new address for him. Or actually, they do have a new address for him, but I have not tested it, so... I don't want to put that out there. <laughs> now, he played for the Giants, the Blue Jays, and the A's from 1974 to 1987. Now, he was a two-times All-Star. So this, this video today has All-Star potential all around. He was an uh, All-Star in 1977 and 1983 for the Giants and is a member of the Giants Hall of Fame. And he currently coaches baseball in Virginia at Bryant and Stratton College. Mr. Gary Lavelle. Next, we have the person that I teased at the start of the video, Bobby Gritch. He signed one of one in 12 days via his home in California. You can see the address there because this is a public address. Now, he played from 1970 to 1986 for the Orioles and the Angels, only two teams... Check it out. Only two teams. Now, he is a six times All Star in 72, 74, 76, 79, 80, and 82, as well as a four times Golden Glove winner 
and a silver slugger and the American League home run leader in 1981. And he is actually a member of both the Orioles and the Angels Hall of Fame. Now, he played in the 1970 and 71 World Series for the Orioles, and he actually had a an interesting quote when looking back on his career, uh, of which he led the league in home runs in 81. His quote that he likes to, to tell people is, I was short on talent, so I had to be long on intensity. There you go. Bobby Gritch. All right, next we have Tim Stoddard. He signed 1-1 one one in 28 days via his home in Illinois. You can see the address right there on your screen. <laughs> now, he played for the White Sox, the Orioles, the Cubs, the Padres, the Yankees, and the Indians from 1975 to 1989. Now, he is actually one of only two people to have both played in a World Series and a Final Four Division I basketball championship. So the other person who has done that was actually his teammate on that uh, Final Four team, Kenny Lofton. And he is now a pitching coach for the North Central College in Naperville. Uh, he is also an actor in baseball movies, and he appeared in both the movies Big. I have written down Big. So Rookie of the Year as well, Tim Stoddard. Hope you enjoyed those autographs for you today, all on the 1982 Fleers, which are very colorful. You know, all of those are signed brilliantly in blue, as they say. <laughs> um, you know, I was talking to the TTM cast about the 1982 Fleers on his podcast, TTM cast. And, uh, you know, he mentioned that he was there when some of the, the photos were taken. And uh, he was kind of talking about how the... Um, a lot of them are blurry, including the Cal Ripken, and yeah, they are. They are kind of blurry. The I don't know. There are there are good cards from back then, so I don't know why these were printed so badly. They're definitely, uh, except for the Cal Ripken card, considered of the junk wax era. But hey, I am so thrilled to be able to get these back. They look great signed, and like I have told other people, I am not. I am not doing the set. At least not yet. Hmm. <laughs> I need to get my Don Russ set down to uh, um, under 50 left before I even think of doing another set. You, before I even want to think about doing that, yeah, I want to get so close on my Don Russ set that I can taste it. Then maybe I will look at the 82 Fleers and, man, buying more of those boxes, that's going to be tough. So I'm probably just going to have to buy singles of those uh, to send out if I, if I want to do that. But, hey... Thank you so much for watching. If you have watched some of my recent videos lately, you know I'm trying to get together a wall of subscriber and uh, YouTube family <laughs> uh, autographs. If you want to send me a three and a half or a three by five index card with a note and your autograph, I would love to put that up on my wall and include a self-dressed stamp envelope of your own to uh, receive one of my custom autograph cards and I'll sign that for you as well. So the address for that is down below. It is my PO box here in Ames, Iowa. Now if you go on Star Tiger and see my Riverside Drive address in California, those will take a long time to get back to me. So you want to use the Ames, Iowa address there and just send me a three by five index card. If you only have a four by six, that'll work too. I'm just trying to keep them small so I can get more on the wall. And if you have a custom card or whatever, you can send that to me as well. Um, or even if you have uh, some of those blanks from the autograph card. I know Max's Corner, uh, he did not have a, a picture or a card when I met him at National. So he just signed one of the autograph cards that I had as well, or had with me, as did uh, Card Seller 25 when I was at the Nationals. So um, whatever you have, that would be awesome. <laughs> and you can go ahead and find that address down below. And I'd love to send you one of my custom cards because I bought 400 of them and I bet I have 375 left. So I didn't give out that many in Nationals. I probably should have been a lot more better at that, but hey, that means I have more for you. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you are enjoying this video a day series that I'm doing here in early September. Um, it's a lot of work, but I'm having a lot of fun. So as I'm so fond of saying, and I mean it 
every time I say it, may your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.